Hey everybody, Andrew here. I'm going to be walking through some of the new uh, features in Camtasia 9 uh, for PC or Camtasia 3 for Mac. The main feature that I'll be focusing on is the behaviors, which is over here on the left ribbon. If you open up the behaviors and then hover over these different behaviors, it shows you uh, what they'll do. There's quite a few really cool ones. Some of them are, are definitely more of my favorites than others, but there's all kinds of these new behaviors that you can do. Uh, that you can use. So I'm going to build a small project and uh, then I will so what I'm going to do is go ahead and build up a small project and uh, then we'll come back into it and apply behaviors. So wait just a second. Alright, so now I've got my uh, information here on the timeline, the images that I want to have. We'll go ahead and play through it really quickly. Shouldn't take too long. There's the eLearning Brothers logo. Here's Taylor talking. There's a Camtasia and eLearning Brothers logo, a text, Taylor talking again, and then the eLearning Brothers logo. Uh, first of all, I already know that I want to make this bigger. Let's scale it up over here using the scale button in the properties section. And that's actually the old Camtasia logo. Uh, Camtasia 9 has a new logo, so we'll want to get that updated. All right, so first things first, how do we want this to come in? Now, we could come into animations and use a custom animation or a scale up or scale to fit or one of these animations to have it come in, but we're going to use behaviors. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the jump and fall behavior on this image. Now we'll go ahead and play it and see what the default looks like. Okay, it bounces in, bounces once it's there, and then slides on out. So if we look on the uh, the behaviors panel here in the properties, we see that in it says to bounce in, the movement will be bounced. The other options are linear, smooth, spring, or a slew of easing in and out. Um, we'll keep it with bounce. We do want it to bounce in from the top, and then we can decide how much bounce it has. If we decrease this to eight, let's see what that looks like. Not much bounce. If we increase it to 87, let's see. Way more bouncy, probably way too bouncy. Kind of liked it where it was, around 30 or 40. Let's give it a try at uh, 29. Good. Now it does a little jump afterwards. If we click during, we can see, yep, it's, it's supposed to jump there. I'm not a fan of the jump, though. Um, instead, let's try shifting. Let's see what shifting does. Kind of just squirms around there. You know what? I don't want it to do anything but just sit there. So I'm going to change it to none for during. And then out, the way it's set up is to just drop out of the bottom. And I am fine with that. I think that works just fine. Let's we push play. Slides out just fine. Okay. So now we have this, this beginning that all we had to do was drag a behavior on and then uh, edit the behaviors here on the right side. So now we have this other footage with Taylor. Now, I want to have this theme where all of this footage comes in from the side. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is um, scale it down a little bit. Scale it to, let's say, 90. Yeah, 90 is good. And now I'm going to come into the visual effects, and I'm going to put a border on this file. You can see it turns green, meaning it's, it's that uh, feature, that effect, will work on that footage. So I'll set the border down. And it's put a very small border. I'm going to increase its thickness as far as it'll go to a 10. Okay, and now the behavior I want is going to be sliding. We want it to slide in. Let's see what that looks like. We'll start it from uh, the eLearning Brothers logo here. Okay, that was good. Uh, however, it does go a little bit transparent here, and I think that's because on the during, it fades. So we're going to change during to none, and play that again. Let's see how it looks. Comes in from the left, plays, and then goes out to the right. I really like that, um, and I like that it just sits there. Let's say I wanted it to do something right here in the middle. We can go to the during, and we can play with several of these different uh, different types. We can do pulsate, uh, reveal, shifting. Um, let's try drifting. 
and see what that looks like. That one kind of swings around a little bit up to the right, and that's fine. Um, but let's try a different one. Ease out. Uh, right now it's set to ease out quint. Let's change it to ease out sign and see what that looks like. That's fine. I like that. Okay, so now I want this uh, logo to do the same thing, swing in from the side. So we're going to put sliding on this. And to help keep the theme, I'm also going to go ahead to the visual properties and put a border on it and drag the border thickness all the way up to 10. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that looks nice. Um, this text, what do we want the text to say? Let's have it say, eLearning Brothers uh, Camtasia 9 Templates. And we will increase this just like that. We'll get it uh, centered here, there. Now well, let's put a behavior on it. So, so far we've had everything come sliding in. Let's put sliding on it and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. It takes a little long though, and I'm not a fan of the amount of time it takes to get on there. Now we could increase the speed here in the properties. Let's go over here again. Let's play it with a faster speed. That's great. Still not a fan of it. So I can either delete this behavior by clicking the X here and then dragging a new behavior on, or I can click on the style and choose a new uh, behavior here. I'm going to try bouncing in. Not from the top, I want it to come in from the left. The type, left to right is fine, movement, bounce. Let's see what that looks like. Not a fan there. Let's watch it again. Yeah, just not liking that one. So what I'm going to do instead, the type is set to text left to right. I'm going to change it to an object and see what that does. So on the in, it brings the entire title in as an object. The during does a small fade, and I don't like that, so I'm going to turn that off. And then the out is still set to sliding. So the in is bounce in, object bounce left. So let's change the out. We'll keep it on sliding. We're going to change it to an object, though, so it doesn't break up, and the right is correct. So let's push play, see what that does. Great, I like that. And then we want this one to be the same. So we'll put the visual effects, put a border on it, shrink the scale to 90, increase the size of the border, and uh, then we'll put the behavior sliding. So let's see how it plays through. Okay, so now that we've got a lot of delays, oh, looks like this during is still set to fading. We'll turn that off. So what we want to do is actually kind of have these overlap. So as they move, uh, they, they're they right on top of each other. So that it looks like they're kind of attached. So here, that's fine. This works just fine. If we move this all the way over to touch it, how does it look? Not bad. I do want it to be coming onto the screen as the other one is leaving. So right here is when it's on its way out. We'll drag this up to the next layer and set it there. Ooh, I like that. Let's play that. Very good. I like that. And now we can kind of match that on this other text here. See what that looks like. And then we can uh, stack this one up as well. I would like some sort of motion here, so I'm going to go to the during. Let's try another one. Let's try uh, pop-up. Okay, it looks like that's going to swing it a little bit. Let's put play through it. Okay, that's that's great, but there's way too much going on there. Let's try again. Let's change the rotation to not be 16 degrees, maybe, maybe more like 8 degrees. And the loop time we're going to say is uh, 2 seconds. and the delay can stay on zero and loops can be loop forever that's fine let's see what that looks like okay um, I'm fine with that and then we'll want the eLearning Brothers logo to come in here at the very end and we're going to use the same behavior as we did here so we're going to use a bounce in from the top 
So we'll drag on the sliding that we've used for all of the other ones, but we're going to change it from sliding to bounce. And now it's set to the top. If we push play, looks good. Fades, we don't like that fade. I'm going to turn it off. And then the out needs to go out to the bottom, just like everything else. Let's take a look. Great. Um, another feature I want to talk about with with these behaviors that I really, really like. So we have this this footage and this footage that are essentially the same. They slide in and they have a border. So I'm going to select both of them, click one, hold down the shift button, and select the other one. And now you see here in the behaviors window, there's now a two next to sliding. So I can change both of these uh, behaviors at the same time. So if I like their sliding, but I want them to slide in a little bit slower, both of them, I can slide them both down to 80. Their durings don't match, and you can see here that they don't match. Let's say that I do want them to match, so I'll click uh, the style. We're going to change it to pulsate. We're going to change the scale from 108 to maybe 102. 102. The loop time being one second is fine, looping forever, and then they both slide out to the right. Now when I play it, they're both going to have the exact same animations. So it kind of bounces and pulses there. And there you go. I did all of that using behaviors, no animations, and the behaviors uh, still made it work out very, very nice. These behaviors are fantastic, and I hope that you have the best of luck using behaviors in, in your productions.